you're all that trainee. You did a fine job. Outstanding performance considering it was your first time. The requester even asked me to thank you on their behalf. And, as promised, you are due your reward. Oh, you shouldn't have. Except you totally should. This is a token of the guild's gratitude. We received many new commissions every day, and without the efforts of each and every adventurer, there is no way we could respond to them all. If you complete enough commissions each day, you will be eligible to claim a special reward from me. Your adventurer handbook keeps a record of how many adventures you complete each day. Make sure you claim your daily rewards on the days that you complete sufficient adventures. There is a limited quantity of rewards, so it will become forfeit should you not claim it. You are more than welcome. After all, you are the one... And please note that helping a fellow adventurer to complete a commission also counts towards your eligibility for... We encourage you to work actively with your fellow adventurer. Sorry to bother you again. I am delighted to... We are most great... However... You want us to do some recruitment for you? Uh, no. Although I appreciate the offer. But scrambling to officially recruit new members at this stage would not really solve our immediate problems. So what I want to ask is, would your friends have the time to help out? Great. Please do. Thank you. Right now, we urgently need to find people for our expeditions. We organize expeditions to explore areas around the city and in the wilderness. It is a way to keep ourselves informed of any emerging dangers, unusual activity in the domains. And since expeditions are not commissioned by a third party, there are no strict deadlines for completion. However, we neglect them at our peril. If trouble were to foment unchecked, it could easily turn into a major disaster. Pretty important then. All you need to do is convince them to help. Now, without further ado, let me show you the expeditions that are currently available.
You can dispatch someone on an expedition at any time. But of course, whoever you dispatch will be unable to join your party for the duration of the expedition. The duration of an expedition varies depending on the destination. After your friend returns, just come here and confirm the outcome. As your adventure rank increases, more dangerous expeditions will become available to you. After all, with epic power comes epic resp- And of course, matching risk with experience is also for everyone's safety. Thanks again for your help. I hope you and your friends can help out with our expedition- Ad Astra Abyssa. If there's nothing better to do, we could go foraging for ingredients. Is there time for a quick snack? I'll whip one up in no time! Haven't you heard? Star Snatch Grip is known for its heels. Ah, uh, Ancient Alchemy truly is fascinating. Thank you. 
You're here. Wait, you're... Well, first of all, I contacted more than one person. Secondly, she came here as Jean herself, not as the acting Grandmaster. A Jean you would never see, even as an honorary knight. What a surprise. I heard about the Holy Liar, but I never suspected it was you. So, the sound of the Holy Liar can purify Storm Terror and return it to normal? Is that true? That's right! Your honorary knight is putting themselves on the front line to try and resolve this storm. Now that's the hot shot of the Knights of Favonius I'm talking about. Feels like we're breaking the law, though. I understand this kind of absurd explanation is hard to be- But we can ask the Bard to play the song again to try and persuade... I believe you. To persuade our stubborn command- Wait, what? I can't think of any reason for Devalin's betrayal, given it was once one of the Four Winds. However, if it was poisoned in the battle over Mondstadt all those- and then corrupted by the Abyss Mage after it woke up, we can't really blame it. But as Acting Grandmaster, I obviously cannot make such a statement publicly. Diplomatic pressure from the Fatui makes it hard for us to seek a peaceful resolution to the Storm Terror issue. People would think I've lost grip on the gravity of the situation. That's why I can only do this in private. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I don't like the Knights of Favonius. What surprises me is that you would believe an Outlander so easily. My cautious and meticulous superior, even you trust him, don't you, sir? <sighs> I already told you not to call me sir. Never mind. We don't often get to work together after all. Uh... <clears throat> wow, um, this is really awkward. I have a rough idea of where the Holy Liar de Hamel is. Nice recovery. She's really talented at changing the subject. The conflict between Mondstadt and Shneznaya stems from the conflict between the Seven Nations and their seem to be after the Animo God's power. Uh... Right. If the Knights of Favonius publicly prevented an attempt on Duvalin's head, then the only other way to affect the Animo God's power is to take the Holy Liar. The number of Fatui that have come to Mondstadt is far from limited. I've already managed to coerce a few reports out of them. Diluc has determined that the Holy Liar is not being held in the Goth Grand Hotel. I imagine they don't want to leave something stolen in a place where it could be so easily found. Paimon gets it. If too much of a scene gets made, then it becomes a big diplomatic issue. <laughs> Such is the diplomacy between the Seven Nations. Outlander, ready to go? Jean just said the Fatui are trying to take the Valen's power for the Cryo God. I fear this might fall short of their true intentions. I think they intend to use Barbados's connection to the wind to draw him out. Just like Lisa traced the source of the storm to the temples. The god of Anima? Hasn't been seen for more than a thousand years. What makes you think that's their intention? Oh... Uh... Uh... Huh? Forget it. I don't like having to pry. 
Here, take this. What is it? A disguise to protect your identity. Put it on before you run into the Fatui. Unfortunately, they're still one of Mondstadt's allies. At least that's the facade we're maintaining. Our actions are going to get them stirred up. Better to not implicate yourself on a personal level.
No. No! Don't eat me! Are you... You're human? The entire floor's defenses have been broken. No, don't! I have valuable information. We hid the liar in the depths of these ruins. The place it's being kept is locked up tight. If you're after the key, keep going further into the ruins, but don't come after me! I don't know which one of the guards has it, but I'm sure you can find the guards and find out for yourselves. This guy looks like he's about to wet himself. You, you just worry about yourselves. One of the Eleven is already in Mondstadt. Signora, when she gets her hands on you, she's gonna string you up and torture you. When that time comes, don't you dare say a word about me. Did he say Signora? What a strange name. Number eight of the Eleven goes by the name Signora. <clears throat> The fact that the Fatui can run them up across the Seven Nations like they do is entirely because of the Eleven. We need to act quick. Never heard of that association before. What are you lot doing here? That lies way too obvious. You really have... And just how do you plan to bar... You can look down your nose at me, huh? The will of Shneznaya is as solid as the permafrost. I will not yield. There you are, eavesdropper. <laughs> Let me amuse myself a little. <laughs> look at me. Is that the king's ears? Shall we try another room? What are you doing here? Ah, you're just going to attack me? Uh... I am a proud citizen of Snezhnaya. I will not falter.
you rats scurry out from. Senora's not going to tolerate this kind of interference in our affairs. So I'll be the one to take care of you. Save her the trouble of having to deal with you herself. No escape. Force my plan. He was here a second ago. Senora is going to end you. The songs Bard sing of your demise will be so terrifying. The people of Mondstadt will never sleep again for the nightmares they give them. Big talk for a guy who still ran off in the end. Chicken. <laughs>
Welcome to Mars. Welcome back! Uh, this is the Holy Liar! You managed to retrieve it! The pattern of flowing wind carved on the rosewood, and the strings still feel cool to the touch, too! Ugh, the memories. What do you think, Venti? Can you summon Devalin? Mm, although this liar is the real thing, I doubt that it's going to work. As you can see, the liar has been through a thousand years of history. Its animal power has run dry. In this condition, you couldn't play music fit for even Diluc's tavern with it. Bards fight to get on the stage of my tavern. Don't make assumptions. Uh, is that really important right now, Master Diluc? And you! Did you just borrow the Holy Liar to play music for drunkards to hear? <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> Anyway, we won't be able to call Devalin with it. The lyre itself is fine, but the strings... You're up, Outlander. Relax, it's not broken. It's just that the intensity of its animal power has greatly diminished. Do you still have Devalin's teardrop crystal with you? Great! Try to use it on the Holy Liar! It worked as expected. This youthful glow. Praising yourself? Talking about the Holy Liar. Thanks to our traveler friend having purified the crystal, the Holy Liar won't continue to lose power. That said, its power is far from replenished. It'd be great if we could get more tears. I can surmise that Devalin will already be crying. Suffering alone in some deserted place. <sighs> Devalin. Poor baby. This is not something that an honorary knight can accomplish alone. I will mobilize the rest of the knights to assist. When you get the teardrop crystal, please let our honorary knight perform the purification process. Heroes supporting each other and setting out on a journey together. How exciting! Let me come up with a song for you. Is that all you're going to do? Just sing? Hmm, wouldn't be much of a bard if I didn't, now would I? <laughs> you're so cheeky. You deserve an ugly nickname. Oh, Paimon knows. From now on, you'll be known as Tone Deaf Bard. This search reminds me of a feud I once had with the Fatui. Six months ago, a thief stole treasure from the East Temple of the Four Winds. Whoa, what was it? A cup used by Barbados? No. Although, if such a thing existed, it would be very valuable. 
Among all the relics they managed to dig up, one particular friend. object was very rare. I can't give up. I never... It was a lot better. Relics come in every shape and form, huh? Anyone with an eye for fine art would like to add this relic to their collection. Even if you are a close friend. Once word got out, the Fatui started trying to seek it out as well. They've made tons of counterfeits that can be found everywhere. In response, I just bought everyone I could find, irrespective of its authenticity. We're still at it now. I've bought more than 2,000 fakes to date. And the Fatui are yet like? to find the real one. Whoa, you guys are insane. So it means the real one must be out there somewhere on the black market, right? Hmm. Paimon will give you a discount on them if she finds any, because Paimon's just great like that. Sure, you can try to... Once you're done, find me at the winery. I'll trade you a beer for every 20 you find. I am Timaeus, researcher of alchemy. Welcome to Mondstadt. Alchemy is a craft that has been passed down since ancient times, but it is barely understood and its mechanisms are magical and mysterious, completely unlike the principles that shape our understanding of the physical. If we can get the hang of this, we should be able to create some pretty awesome. This must be your alchemist's workbench. That's right. Why not give it a go yourself? You'll be fine. The procedure's actually very simple. If you're interested, I could show you the basics.
All we are really doing is following the methods of the ancients as best we can. Much as one who uses a wind glider needs not understand how it was built in order to glide, the difference with alchemy is that every time I think I finally understand how it's supposed to work, something totally unexpected happens. To be honest with you, I just don't know. There's a lot of other mysterious recipes I have to research first. Over the course of your adventures, you should come across some alchemist notes from ancient... And as your adventure rank increases, more recipes will become available to you. You're welcome. I look forward to hearing more about your exploit. Well, see you next time. If you're borrowing a book, please register it in the log. The restricted section is currently not lending any books. Oh, it's you, little cutie. It's so good to see you. More refreshing than a strong cup of tea in the afternoon. Clearly you're meant to be working, but you don't seem to have your heart in it at all. I mean, other than Jean, who really works that earnestly anyway? So, did you have something you needed? Or did you just come to see me? Ooh, a smooth talker. Not what I was ex- Miss Librarian! Got any books to recommend? Hmm, recommended books. Sadly, everything I'd personally recommend is all in the restricted section, which we're not currently lending out. What's with your ominous tone? Oh, right. Would you be interested in checking out the Devat Travel Guide? I think it would be quite helpful for you as travelers here. Ooh, sounds like it could be helpful. Do you think we could take a peek? <sighs> I suppose I can try to find you a copy from the list. Isn't this Lisa's job? What does she mean, I suppose? Oh dear, that's unfortunate. Our copy is currently being borrowed. That said, it has come to think of it, quite a few of our books are now overdue on time. Whoa, is Paimon imagining things, or does the air in here suddenly feel a- <sighs> Such a pain. <sighs> I'm going out to bring those unreturned books back. If you'd rather get your hands on that copy of the Tavat Travel Guide sooner, you'd better come with me. Really scary right now. Paimon thinks it would be best if you answer. You really are such a considerate cutie. Let's see. First, we can go to the souvenir shop. It's called With Wind Comes Glory. So, 